Major support for Do the Math has been provided by Chevron, the Kern County Superintendent of Schools, Edison International, Kern Schools Federal Credit Union, California Resources Corporation, Bakersfield West Rotary Stroop Family Foundation, Panama Buena Vista Union School District, Bakersfield City School District, and the Kern High School District. With additional production assistance provided by these supporters of education in Kern County and throughout the state of California. Hey, we're here today at Van Horn Elementary School, home of the Hornets, and today we're here to... Hey, thanks. We're here out here at uh, Van Horn Elementary School, and these students are ready to do some math today. So I'm kind of excited. We're going to start with some measurement problems today, and I know that this is something that maybe they haven't worked with so much, but hey, that's why we're here, to learn a little something. So we have a couple conversions that we've done already, and most of the students here have what you need on your board, right? And if you forget, they're on the board up there, too. The first thing we looked at is there's 12 inches and one foot, right? Yeah. Got that down. <laughs> the other thing we looked at is there's three feet and one yard. Right? Mm -hmm. yep. The last thing we looked at is there's four quarts in a gallon. Mm -hmm. So these are all numbers you need to be able to measure things, whether you're measuring length or whether you're measuring some liquid, right? So here we go. Keep that information on your board, but erase everything else. Here's the problem I'm going to give you. I know you can do this one. You're going to be good at this. Let's say that in my refrigerator, I have seven gallons of milk. Okay? Hello. Seven are gallons of milk. Okay? I want to know how many quarts of milk do I have in my refrigerator? And I, I know you can get the answer, but I'm waiting for you to be able to show me and explain to me how you do that problem, okay? So you start off with seven gallons, and I wanna know how many quarts are you gonna get? And please be able to explain your answer. How many quarts would I have of, of milk in there? Hmm, it's an interesting problem, huh? Well, if nothing else, write down seven. You can write down to seven gallons. It's a good place to start. <laughs> And it's real similar, I like what you did up here, John. This was a great problem. It's real similar to that problem. Real similar to that problem. Oh, interesting, yeah. Now try the other one, try the other thing that we did before. Oh, what a wonderful way to do it, Marilyn. I like that a lot. Yeah, that's a good way to do it, right? So can you explain a little bit about what you're doing there with all your fours? I'm adding up all the fours till I get seven, and then I'm gonna add all of them so I can find out how many. And you have seven, four, seven fours there, right? Yeah, so go ahead and add them up and see what you get. Okay, we'll see if your answer matches someone else who might do the problem a different way. What else? Miguel, what do you got over here? Oh, I like this. Okay, tell me, explain what happens. Just don't tell us the answer yet, okay? Um, I, I, I times seven times four, and because I did it because there's four quarts and, and seven gallons, that's why I times those. That's a good idea. Okay, good. So you got multiplication, we got addition over here. Anybody else got something different that's going on over here? I got multiplication. You got multiplication as well? Yeah. And how did you decide on multiplication, Rero? Because, because you know how, how like, if you add, like, four to seven? Right. You, you yeah. could just, like, do seven times four instead of, instead of writing it, like, long. Well, I like the way you said that, too, because multiplication really is a shortcut for a whole bunch of addition, right? That's a really good way to do it. That's a good way to think about it. Is there one more, more way to explain that, Cash? Go ahead. So... What I did, I instead of doing fours, um, seven fours, uh -huh. I did, wait. Oh, no, I like I what know. you did there. Just explain um, what you did. Instead of doing I seven did, fours. I did four, seven, wait, no, I did. Uh, you did a wonderful job here. I like what you did. You wrote it down, seven times four. And instead of writing four, seven times, then you had four sevens. And you still got 28, right? So I see 28 over there. Ramiro got it. Cash got it. I see 28s everywhere, even though we have lots of different ways to do it, right? And that's the wonderful part about math. You don't have to have the same method, but you can have the same answer, all right? Okay, okay. so erase that problem. Challenge number two, here it comes, okay? This is a very similar problem, all right? And this time, we're going to use feet and yards, okay? So here we go. Football game, right? Yeah, they throw a little pass right down the middle. 
for eight yards. An eight yard pass. You might want to write that one down. Okay. If I throw an eight yard pass, how long was the pass that I threw in feet? It's very similar to what you just did with quarts and gallons. Eight yards, in other words, how many feet are in eight yards? And again, I really want to know how you did it. Got an idea about that one, Max? What are you going to do with that one? You got the eight yards, right? Write that one down. And then you can do some addition if you want to. You can draw a picture if you want to. You can check with someone next to you if you want to. This doesn't have to be a solo thing, but I need you to be able to explain what's going on. Miguel has a good idea. All right, let's see what you got, buddy. Uh, I, I looked at the three feet. Mm -hmm. and, and, and why did you look at the three feet? Where did the three come from? Um, th because three feet equals one yard. Ah, so when you heard yards, you looked at the measurement we had up there that had feet and yards in it. Great mm -hmm. idea. Okay, and then what did you just have to do with the three feet? At times the eight. Ah, I like eight it. yards. Yeah, that's it. Anybody do this one with addition? Because I like this. Oh, this is our addition side over here. Look at this addition going on over here. Yeah, you got some eights. Anybody get a three? Could you have done this problem with adding threes together? Yeah. How many threes would you add together? Eight, eight. You would add eight of them. That's it. So we're learning slowly today with some measurement stuff that you can do addition, right, with either threes or eights in this problem, or you can do multiplication. There is so much more to do here with our amazing students learning a little bit about measurement. Hey, we're back here at Van Horn Elementary, home of the Hornets. Look at these lovely Hornets we have here today doing some math. Are you ready? Challenge number two or three. Uh, someone's counting for me. Challenge number two. Here we go. Can you draw yourself a triangle? And try to make all the sides about as equal as you can. Looks like those, most of you did that. You got a triangle. Like this? Yep, like that. That's a great triangle. Now, Oops, on each side, triangle. ready? On each side, I want you to put two yards, okay? Two yards on the left, two yards on the right, and two yards on the bottom. And I really like how you are labeling them, not just two, two yards, right? Mm -hmm. The first thing I want to ask you to do with this triangle is, what is the perimeter? How long is it all the way around the triangle? And I want you to label that as well, okay? Don't shout any answers out. I like that, but it's going to be some, make sure you put the, uh, the measurement on the end of the number. Right? Oh. Yeah, there you go. Think about how you did it. Be prepared to tell me how you did it. I like it. And make sure you label your final answer. Boom. Boom. All right. So we're going to start over here. Matthew, looks like you have an interesting way to do this. Tell me what happened here. Wonderful triangle, two, two, and two. Your answer is six. How'd you get there? Um, so we add this one with this one, and then we added this one with this one to equal six. All together. Yep, you added up the sides, and that's a great way to do uh, perimeter, right? Ramiro right next to him gets the same answer, right? You got six. I see your six yards here, but you didn't do addition. What'd you do? Um, a, a multiplication. Why? Because, Why did you do multiplication? Because three can go into two. Not into, but what's the other word? Oh. Just Multiply, right? You're just oh, multiplying yeah. it together. Why are you multiplying? Because yeah. multiplying is a fast way to add, yes. right? It looks like cash did the same thing. One more, Miguel. Tell me a little bit. Did you do some multiplication as well? Yeah. And why did you multiply two times three? Because there's three sides. Oh, now that's a great explanation. There are three sides, so that's where the three comes from. Mm -hmm. And where's the two come from? Um, from the yards. Yeah, that's it, from the yards. Now, take your answer that you have here of six yards. Like most people got that. And ladies, we're going to pick on you over here in a minute. How many feet would that be? Instead of putting out six yards, how many feet? I know you know, but you got to show me. Oh, okay. Write it down and explain it. I'm going to see how these ladies are doing over here. <laughs> you can do some addition, or you can do some multiplication, just like we did earlier. And I really like it how you show me what's going on there. We started with six yards. Six yards is the perimeter of the triangle. And then we want to know how many feet is that? Ah, oh, Marilyn, tell me a little bit about what you did here. We had six. There's your six yards. And then you stuck another three in there. Where did this three come from? I just took this thing and put it right there in the tiny. Oh, okay. You did multiplication. I like your multiplication. You got your six here, right? But then this three, because there's three feet in a yard, right? I like this 18. Now, can you do me a favor and write down the, uh, the measurement at the end there? It's 18 what? Feet. 18 something there okay back over here to these ladies anybody do it differently did you multiply oh we got some multiplication here for maddie mm -hmm. that's it 
Got some multiplication. Oh, here's a whole lot of addition. And I really like it when people tend to do a little bit different than multiplication. You got some addition. How many threes are you going to write down there? Four. You got four of them so far, but how many do you need? Mm. What's his number? Six. That's it. So write down all six of them so we can see all of them. Because it's another way to do it. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer. Yeah, there you go. Now, if you add all those up together, you're going to get how many yards are in the perimeter of that shape. So, to find the perimeter, you can do addition or you can do multiplication. To find from the, area, from the, the perimeter that you have, it's in yards, you want to go to feet, you can do addition or you can do multiplication. Now, let's take that knowledge. Are you ready? The challenge next is draw a square. Okay. Okay? You can erase your triangle, draw a square. Now, this one's going to be faster because you already have the method you need to use. We won't be long on this one because I know you'll be quick and you'll know exactly what to do. Draw a square. Each side of the square is three yards long. Ah, some people label just one side. Some people label two sides. Some people are labeling all four sides. I think it's a really good idea to label. You know what's coming next? What is the perimeter of your square? What's the distance all the way around? And you can do it quick. Good, I'm glad you have it. Hold on to it right there. Don't say it out loud. Good. I'm glad you have it. Don't say it out loud. Oh, some people are adding. Some people are multiplying. We're going to all say it together in 10 seconds. Finish up your numbers. Make sure you have your measurement at the end. Here we go. All together. Five, four, three, two, one. The answer is 12. Wow. Good job. All right. So last thing, take your 12. How many feet is that? Right? You can add it up. Or you can multiply. How many feet in the yard? 12. No, not 12. How many feet in the yard? Three. Look right here. There it is right there. Good. You got it. See what you can do. Take your 12 times 3 again. You can do it. I like that's a great place to start. Now times 3 again, Max. You can do it. In 10 seconds, we're going to all do this one together too. Can we do it? 12 times 3. 12 times 3. 12 times 3. You can do it. Here it comes, and don't forget, there's feet at the end, right? Make sure it's a times. Oh. Yep, 12 times 3, times, not, not division, times. Miguel's got it. From way over at the far side of the table, Miguel, what do you got? 36. 36 what? Feet. 36 feet, nice job. Well done. So we're still learning that multiplication is a short form of adding, and you can either add them all up together, or you can multiply them, but the best case scenario is that you draw a picture. Hey, we're back here at Van Horn Elementary, and I want to do one last thing here before we go this afternoon to make sure that students understand that it's a really good idea to draw some pictures sometimes when you're doing a math problem. So we got a little bit of a head start. Everyone's got at least one gallon of milk drawn, down, drawn on your board, okay? Yes. And now I want you to, ready, draw three more right next to it. So you're going to have a total of four gallons of milk on your board. Now, sometimes it takes a little bit longer than you like, but I think it's really important to have a picture of what's going on so at least you can understand what's happening in the problem. And then when I ask you a question about it, it won't be nearly as confusing because you'll be able to see a picture of it. And you can label each one of them. I like how some people are actually drawing the word milk on there. Some people are actually have a different shape, but the shape isn't nearly as important as making sure that you have four physical gallons of milk. Nice job. Yep, got to have four total, right? So you had one. I'm asking you to add three more in there. So far, so good. See, there's a little bit of art in math and a little bit of math in art. Three so far. One more, Maddie. There you go. So you have four total. Now, if you look at the measurement tool that we used at the very top of the page, right, or it's up there on the board if you forgot what it was, how many quarts are in one gallon? What does it say? It says four, right? It's at the top of your page or it's up here on the board. There are four quarts in one gallon. So I want you to label each one of the pictures that you have with what? With a four, right? And you want to put a four what? Four what? Gallon. Not gallons. Four, four, four quarts. quarts. So write that down. Four quarts over the top of each one, on the bottom of each one, inside of each one, somewhere. I want you to label what each one of them is. Now, with this amazing picture that you've just drawn, I know that you can now do this problem. How many quarts do we have all together? Um, Add them up. Six. Make sure you can, yeah, write it down. Show me how you do it. If I ask you to explain, show me what you would do. 
Some people, I think, are going to do it with addition. Some people might do it with multiplication. But you can instantly see it's a lot easier to do when you have a picture. And make sure you have your final answer that has a label to it, right? So when you get the final answer here, Max, what is the label you want to have on the end here? 16 what? Quarts. Quarts, that's it. So write down quarts. 16 quarts. Cool cocoa cola milk. Yeah. And we still have 16 quarts of that, right? Yeah. I like this. Right here, Cash, you got four and four and four and four. You even showed this in math about how you can add it all up. So ready? We're going to go backwards now. You got your 16. That's a wonderful way to do it. Let's go backwards. If you have 16 quarts, how many gallons do you have? Show me in math. You have a picture of it. I know that part. But start with 16 and go backwards to gallons. How many quarts in a gallon? One. Four. Good. So you're going to use that four. 16. Oh, Miguel, wonderful work here. I like this. How you did this. You got your 16 quarts all together. And we're going to go backwards, like I said here, 16 divided by 4. Mm. Wonderful. And at the very end, you labeled it 16 divided by 4. 16 divided by 4. So when I say go backwards, usually what we ended up doing is getting smaller. All right, we have our final challenge of the day. Erasure, quarts of milk. We're going to draw one more picture. Quarts. We're going to make this a real simple picture. It's definitely something you can do, but I want you to see if you can draw this picture and then divide it up into different parts. <gasps> did I just say that? Yeah, you did. Okay. Draw yourself a rope that goes rope? from one side of your board to the other. Just a rope. Like a line? Just a rope. You can draw out a line. You can make a squiggly, whatever it is. Your rope is... Oh, feel the tension. Your rope is 18 feet long. 18 feet? 18 feet long. Better put that 18 on there somewhere. Oh, oh, 18 know. feet. And what's the question going to be? How many, How many yards? yards? How many yards? That's yards. it. We got to do it quickly. I know you can do it. Now we're going to break it up into different pieces. I even gave you a hint. We're going to divide it up into different pieces. Oh! Uh huh. Oh. Show me. Show me a picture. 18 divided by. Cash, tell me what we're going to divide by. 18 divided by? Three. 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 That's it. Show me. Like 18 this? divided by three. And then draw me a picture. Divide it up into pieces. Divide your rope. Cut your rope into different pieces. Do it. You can do it. That's it. Good job. What's the answer there, Max? What'd you get? What's 18 divided by 3? It is. And you're going to have six what? Six yards. Wonderful job. I love it. Amazing way to do math. I am so amazingly proud of this group right here. If you ever get stuck on a math problem, this group can attest. Just draw a picture. It makes everything a lot easier.